So we have imported our Weeping Woman image into Photoshop and there it is in the layers panel as the bottom layer. We now need to create a black and white mask so I'm moving my mouse down to the bottom of the layers panel and I'm looking for this create new fill or adjustment layer icon. I click on it and up pops a menu and I scroll up till I find the black and white. Let go and the image has magically turned black and white and you can see that a new layer adjustment layer has been created with a mask on it and that mask is highlighted. We'll go back and put the black and white layer mask on by clicking on the little eye which is to the left of that layer. We'll adjust the size of our brush so that it's not too big and start colouring. Now as you colour the eye, a black hole has been created in the mask and it reveals the layer underneath. I'm going to colour in the, the tears but they are mostly white and the handkerchief is mostly white. Now if you want to be more tidy you can go back and change your tool to a white one. You can make it a little bit smaller and those areas that you don't want the colour in can easily be recoloured in white and they'll hide the, the colour layer and make it look black and white again. So now I'm finished. I'm now going to save this as a JPEG. At the moment you can see that it is a PSD, which stands for Photoshop Document. So I go File, Save As. Where it says PSD, I'm going to change it to JPEG. Retitle it. And hit the Save button. Just identify what size you want your image to be. 150.7 kilobytes is fine for this application and press OK. I'm planning to turn on a different section now for a different JPEG. So I'm going to turn this layer mask off. I'm going to create a new layer mask. And now I'm ready to start the next colouring. I'll save it and this time I will again convert it to a JPEG and I will call it hands and face. Once you have completed your images you can then paste them into a Word document and your assessment task is to look at Picasso's Weeping Woman from the subjective frame. You can paste it into a Word document and here is your image with your description highlighted with the image so your image is illustrating your text. You can make an inference and then once you've finished your first one you can move on to your second one.